Hi, my name is Brian Fernanda and I'm a chef from Indonesia. I was so fortunate enough that I can learn and explore a lot about food when I was staying in the United States, specifically in Chicago. However, at the same time, I'm so mad and disappointed with myself because I haven't really known about my own culture. Therefore, in this episode, I'd like to bring you along in the journey of exploring the food culture of the most west of Indonesia. So come and explore together with me, Brian Fernanda, Brian Wall. Let's go! Woo! Good morning, Monday, first day of the week. Another day, another beautiful chance. Let's start the day. So apparently we gotta stop in this car shop to do uh, what we call balancing the tires. Basically what's balancing is like to make sure the tire on the straight way. Since we're gonna drive for 12 to 15 hours, I guess. To Aceh. Are you ready? <laughs> Wait, let me work. Wait, I'm ready. He still gotta work, still gotta make money. You yeah, know? I mean, that's cheesy. <laughs> In order to pay for our vacation. <laughs> so, this is the thing that, you know, nice about being a content creator. You can work while you have fun. Yes, indeed. But you have to be able to shift your, your focus a bit, yeah. and then you focus back on what else are you doing. Kinda like multi huh? Yeah. Same like in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, let's wait and see. Hopefully the cars are doing okay. Um, yeah. Preparation for road trip. Coffee. Coffee, Red Bull, water. Because we're lacking of sleep. Yes. And we need this, you know, I don't know. Sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> we need the go. caffeine. Yes. <laughs> we need to survive. Time to go home. Road trip! Yeah. It's always a fun activity to do. But when you hear it's like 12 to 15 hours of drive, it's kind of different. However, we always need to make the best out of it. <laughs> Driving from Medan to Aceh is just something. It's decent road, yet it's not so big. You gotta fight with a bunch of big trucks or even motorcycles. Welcome to Kuala Simpang, Aceh. Now, berapa jam? Baru dua jam. We still got nine hours, fifty-three minutes to go. Jadi kita udah. We arrived in Langsa, Grace Mosque. White and gold looks so rich. So we already um, raised the time, yeah? Yeah, kind of. We kind of raised it for half an hour, probably. Half an hour, an hour. Yeah, no. Ini 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 merah. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. So we're having a break a little. Four hours drive in, eight hours to go. We can do this. <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. After fattening up my tummy, we continued our long drive journey to Banda Aceh. I don't know whether you realized it or not, but this city has been called Serambi Mekah or the doorway to Mecca for some reason. If you look closely, whether on your left or right, you'll find a bunch of beautiful mosques during your road trip. Since historically, Aceh has been a stopping place for Muslim pilgrims. Even Marco Polo visited in 1292. And as a result, this part of Indonesia has a really strong influence of Islamic religion. Even the government building looks like a grand mosque. Now, let's go back to E. So apparently the meat is made out of lembu. Lembu is buffalo. Buffalo. As you can see and you probably can hear, uh, now it's uh, azan. Yeah, it's like the Muslim prayer calling. And they're actually closing. So it's actually pretty amazing. Uh, they, they prioritize the praying time and go for, for praying and then they'll come back again and open it again. Like five minutes ago, it's like hustle, busy, crazy. And now it's just like nothing. So what do you think? I think it's... What's the flavor characteristic? 
I smell some gaming. Huh? Like the gaming. Like gaming? like uh, gaming jadi tuh kayak kalau kambing ada bau bandot. Oh. Nah, that's what we call kayak duck juga ada bau bebek. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's what we call gaming because those are like for hunting game, right? So yeah. Actually there is but it's mild it's not that you know unpleasant smell i think like for example goat has you know very strong gamey mm-hmm. yeah very strong gamey smell but this one is um, very edible like you know it's pleasant yeah yeah and it's it's really smoky it's nice but it's different kind of smoke it's it's because of you know the grill and the char grill flavor yeah, char grill and um, when you uh, eat it with the sauce I don't know, somehow like you know the texture of this satay because it's from lembu mm-hmm. um, it has that chewiness to it but it's also like you know it's right chewiness <laughs> what am I saying I don't know I cannot describe it but but yeah I mean um, it's it's really good in its own way and even like the sauce it, it still has that chunky uh, nut you know big chunks of nuts oh nuts? So it's it's not uh, fully grinded uh, it makes it like you know has that texture different texture it's really sweet yeah caramelized oh, like they, they put the, the, the sweet soy sauce in it so it's kind of caramelized combination of meats and then the fat and then meat again mm-hmm. so it makes it you know like juicy balance if you eat it all together like one one go yeah i think you guys need to try it if you come i'm taking a road trip from medan to banda Aceh. We're probably gonna pass this right? Or maybe if it's already in Aceh, starting from Aceh, just come here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After we're done with our food, we're so lucky that we can talk with the owner's son. Shockingly, the satay business has been starting since 1994, even older than me. And each day, they need around 200 kilos of meat. Time to go again. Five more hours, but before, do it. Dessert time. We ordered this. Same thing, this is martabak, which is like pancake-ish. And then uh, sticky rice with durian and esteler. Somebody's not pleased. <laughs> <laughs> it's unique. Oh, so we say that now? It's <laughs> unique. <laughs> So now you guys, you know, when we say it's unique, then it means something. Okay. <laughs> Texture wise, I like it. It's creamy, crunchy on the skin. It's amazing, texture wise. Flavor wise, it's interesting. Like you've got the savory, a little bit salty from the, the skin, and a little bit char flavor. And then you, you got hit by the smell of durian that's pretty strong and sweet. It's kind of flat in a way. So it's unique. Yeah, it's unique. <laughs> In my mind, I have so many things that I want to shoot. Oh, opening a door, putting in shorts, blah, blah. But in reality, I'm just too tired. <laughs> yes, whatever. <laughs> Apparently, we're living in Oyo. They call it Oyo. In Aceh. Surprisingly, it's pretty okay. It's pretty nice. We pay only like, what? 350,000 rupiah is like... $20? What? 25. 25, 20, yeah, around that 25 ish dollar for three nights. <gasps> You're excited for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm really excited actually. <laughs> I'm getting fat top. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get some rest, take some shower. But yeah, let's, let's see for tomorrow. Night. Good night. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow us, alright? Bye!